Hi, welcome to our web design video blog, Winnick and James from Korea. Today we're going to show you a tutorial on how to do CSS backgrounds, focusing on how to have very low file sizes. Um, after the tutorial, we'll also talk about CSS3 and some of the new background features on there. So the first one we're going to start with is just a very basic plain background colour. Secondly, we're going to look on how to tile a graphic. Then we're going to look at how to do uh, gradients for backgrounds. And fourthly, we're going to look at graphic positioning within the background itself. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to look at the basic solid background colour. So all I've done is just prepared a very basic HTML page. Uh, nothing on here at all at the moment. We've just got a standard white background. Uh, so for all these demonstrations, we're just using at the moment Dreamweaver CS4. Um, but because we're just using basic CSS2, uh, this is compatible in all versions of uh, Dreamweaver or whether you're using Notepad. So if you go into the code view and into the head, um, you can either do this um, inline on the um, document or you can do it on an external style sheet and link the style sheet through the head. So in order just to get initially a solid background colour, this is the sort of um, you know the first most basic stage. So to do this, all I'll do is type body, and this will apply the background to the web page body background colour, like here, and then I can either type in manually the um, hexadecimal reference or I can pick it from the uh, colour diagram here. So let's just say for example we pick one of the blues, I then finish the CSS command, that then gives us a nice blue background to work with. So that's the first basic solid colour. Um, if you're using CSS to do your body background colour, you don't need to have anything in the body tag. Um, you know, in earlier HTML before uh, CSS really took over, there was a uh, body background colour tag, like so, where you could specify colour. So if you're doing this in CSS, you don't need the body tag. Okay, so next we're going to look at tiling a graphic background on your web page. So for this example, I've just got a basic floral um, tile background. If this background were to be repeated, um, it would form like a sort of wallpaper style pattern. You can make these graphics yourself in Photoshop or you can download quite a few, few of them on the uh, internet. So again, if you look at our tutorial we did last week on um, Save the Web, make sure that you're saving your background graphic tile to the smallest possible file size. Okay, so again, I've prepared a uh, basic page called Tiled. Again, just starting with a blank HTML page, and I've just got some inline CSS tags here ready to take the CSS. Again, or you can do this on an external file. So I've saved the um, background graphic as tiledfloral.gif in my images folder. So all I have to do again is type body because we're applying the body's background. Background image, and I can browse and choose this from my images folder, like so. And let's drop that in there. So to finish this tag, all I do is a semicolon and close it like so. So as you can see, um, our background graphic has been repeated um, both horizontally and vertically. Okay, so next we're going to do a gradient background. As you see, all I've done here is prepared a simple blue gradient, uh, just blue going into white. So unlike the tiled background, I don't want to just purely um, save this for web and then repeat it. Um, as we did with the previous one. Instead, I only want the gradient to repeat once across the top of the website. I then want this blue color to uh, continue downwards and I don't want the sort of gradient to appear again. So I don't want it to tile. So what I want to do first of all is just take uh, the smallest um, part possible and the smallest file size. So because I can repeat this gradient across the X axis, I only want to take a one pixel uh, slither of the, of the graphic. And also, because this blue um, is the same down here toward the bottom, again, I don't need to take a full height um, you know, size like this. I only need to take it up to where the, the blue uh, starts to continue. So what I can do is I can use the info panel, which is just over here on the right. As you can see here, there's a little RGB setting. So what I can do is I can um, bring my mouse down over the graphic and watch the RGB colors until they stop moving. As I get down to about here, you'll see that the RGB is fixed on 138, 169, 184. So that's where the gradient ends. So if I take one pixel of this, like so, edit, copy, merge, then make a new file, I need this to be one pixel wide, and then edit, paste. So there's my background slither, so we'll go file, Save for web devices. Let's just 
bring this over. Obviously, because this has only got a couple of colours, I'm going to say this is a GIF rather than a uh, JPEG. Uh, 16 colours is fine. So this is literally 141 bytes, very small file size. So let's save that. And I'll put this in just here. So we'll call this gradient background, like so. Okay, so next we will um, get the color for the blue, which is just down here. So I'm just using the uh, ink dropper. And the color is 8AA. 9b8 so I'm just going to copy that onto my clipboard now if I go back to Dreamweaver again I've got a nice uh, blank page ready for this demonstration again I go to code so just like the first um, tutorial where we just did a solid background color I'm going to go body first of all I'm going to put in the background color that I've just used the uh, eyedropper on so because this is on my clipboard I can quite simply paste that in like so first of all and if we go to the design view, we've got the, the blue colour in. So to get the gradient to run across the top of the web page, what I then need to do is go background image, browse, gradient background. Okay, so if I now go to the design view, again you'll see that my gradient has repeated um, you know, in a sort of tiled fashion. So to stop it from doing that, what I have to do is go background repeat, and here I can just choose it to go along the x-axis like so and hit save. So now as you can see the gradient only repeats once across the top of the page and then I get the blue colour thereafter. And finally I'm just going to show you how to set a background graphic um, as your background in CSS. So let's just say for example we're doing a fixed width website um, and we wanted to have the blue background like before um, but this time we wanted to have um, sort of a shadow around the white box. So let's just say I wanted to set this as the background of the page. So again, um, all I have to do is first of all crop this to one pixel. So because we're going to repeat this background vertically, I'm just going to get a horizontal pixel. So copy merged, file new, and paste. So that's the one pixel. Save for web. I'm just going to save this into the folder as well. So let's call this one vertical background. And again, I'm just going to uh, bring the color across with us as well. Which I'm just copying. Back to Dreamweaver. And again, just got an empty page waiting for us. So again, I'll just start by typing body background color. Paste that in, which gives us the blue starting point. Now, just like doing the gradient, we're going to use background image. I'm going to select the vertical background like so. And once again, if we go to design view, you'll see that this is repeated uh, in a tiled format like we did before. So first thing we'll do is, like the gradient, go background, repeat. And this time, go on the y-axis. So this only repeats the background now on the y-axis, but obviously we probably want to put this into the middle of the page. So all I have to do next is just go to background, position, center. And now if we go to the design view, as you can see, our background graphic uh, is fixed in the center. Doesn't matter how wide we make this page, because it's only repeating on the y-axis, the blue background will fill the space either side. And again, because this uh, graphic center's background is only one pixel, we've saved it's a GIF with our safe web method. Um, this is all very optimized, low file size format. Also, don't forget you can check out our SEO song featuring our very own Michael Engrave and his band, Charlie and the Martyrs. So thanks for watching. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash prayer group.